Three main areas that people will attend to have Botox is the lower forehead, the upper forehead and the crow's feet at the side of the eyes. The main idea with Botox really is to have a treatment that relaxes the wrinkles and it almost takes the edge off a little bit and freshens you up. What you don't want to necessarily look is 10 or 15 years younger, nor do you want to look like a wind tunnel. You just want a natural look that will absolutely have your friends wondering what it is about you that makes you look so fresh but they can't quite put their finger on it. Often people will come back to me after two weeks because it takes two weeks for the full effect of Botox and they'll remark that their friends think they look fresher, younger, but that their friends can't quite put their finger on it. And often they'll actually say to their friends things like, oh, I have a new cream or... So patients often ask about the upper part of the face, obviously, which is Botox. So you have, you know, your lower forehead, your upper forehead and your crow's feet. And then in the mid face, you have these lines here, the nasolabials and derma filler is used to replenish those volume in the mid face and indeed the lower face. So also people often have marionette lines. Obviously I don't because I have derma filler here and I have derma filler here. I also have some derma filler in my own cheeks because as we get older, an area called the malar fat pad gets a little bit sunken and that often gives you the, the, the bags under the eyes. It's moved away from having tear trough treatments in the bags under the eyes because it's difficult to get a really good finish on that. Sometimes people complain that they can see a little bit of the product through the area because obviously this area is very thin. So really the way to treat loss of volume in the cheeks and, and just under the eyes is to put some filler into the cheeks. So I myself have had Botox all three areas and I have some filler here and indeed filler in my cheeks and it just adds volume. The other thing with derma filler is that it will also hydrate the area and really help lift things up and, and you have a little bit of a glow to your face which is very helpful. A lot of people will also attend and they want to talk about lip filler. I think nowadays obviously with a filler it's fourth generation filler and it's not it's not Restylane, it's not silicone, it's not a permanent filler. These fillers are temporary, they last four to six months. So if you don't absolutely love the way it looks, it's gonna wear off anyway. They're also reversible. So the whole concept of trout pouts is very much long gone. And in fact, I probably do less lip treatment or lip filler treatments nowadays, because I often think for the tube of filler that you could put into one's lips, there's always a line here or a line here or a line somewhere else that it might be better served being placed because again having really really big lips is not very natural so again the emphasis is on less is more Botox to relax the frown lines and wrinkles in the upper face but again in a very natural way and then filler in the mid and lower face to replenish those volume sometimes a little bit in the lips but again if you've got thin lips no amount of filler is going to make you have very very plump lips unless you want to periodically keep putting more filler in every three or four months but again sometimes lips can be a giveaway what you really want is a more youthful fresher younger looking you rather than somebody who looks like they've had a lot of work done because that's not a good look.